guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing high-end foundations and some drugstore, a little bit of each. And it is what my favorite foundations are. I have five high-end foundations and then I have three drugstore. So these, my phone needs to quit. These are my favorite foundations. Um, I have been gone a little bit from my channel for about like a week. Um, I had allergies really bad and I have been trying to get over it so my voice has been all awful and it still is a little bit but it's really not that bad as it was so I apologize for that. Also I started working a, like an hour away at Ulta for Estee Lauder so I just started doing that. I've been super busy. I actually just got back tonight. I was there for three days and I love it so much. So enough with the rambling. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, go and like the video, and if you want to know what my favorite foundations are, then just keep on watching. So I have a tie, I honestly really don't know which one is my all-time favorite holy grail foundation. I do have a tie, I think, between three high-end foundations. Um, the first one is the Hourglass Banish Stick. This one, oh my gosh, it is full coverage, I am a full coverage Full coverage type of girl I love it um, it is a little small on the applicator and like how much product you get you don't get like a ton of time oh my gosh this is so lightweight on your skin it does not go into any creases like my smile lines gone forehead lines gone that never happens with this because it is so lightweight and so full coverage like I don't know I don't understand how they do it but they did and this is amazing the next this one is brand new it is the YSL all hours foundation I did review this on my channel and um, I had the wrong shade and that kind of threw me off a little bit I do like this it is like a medium to full coverage I did have to apply a little bit more right here but that might just be me But after wearing it a few more times and getting the right shade I absolutely love this foundation um, I think it is really good I did get the BD 30 uh, warm almond I was like what is that and oh my gosh it it's lightweight it's not thick at all it's full coverage and it just makes my pores like disappear it gets in my smile lines a little bit but I mean every foundation does I really can't find something that doesn't this probably is like the least but this one doesn't get into it bad and I really like this it makes my skin look in, like an airbrush look and yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but it's good. The next is, of course, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Oh my gosh, this lasts so long on your face. I'm just like, I never have to touch up, like ever. I have worn this for the last three days. Um, like, I don't know. And this is uh, the pure beige color that I am in. And it's just good it lasts all day it's good coverage it's a medium to full um you can really build it up and like i don't touch up it makes my skin look really good it does not get my smile lines bad at all and overall this is just a really good foundation um the next high end foundation is this dior forever i really like this i love the packaging on this it is so just like sleek looking and oh my gosh I love it and I wasn't for sure about it at first but after wearing it more and more and more a lot of people rave about this and I can see why it is not like thick and goopy it is a more full coverage foundation I really like this foundation the next one is kind of high-end um, but I feel like this one is a good just like if you're starting out with foundation and you don't really know what to buy I feel like this one works for a lot of people it's the makeup forever ultra HD foundation and I am in the Y325 and this is a medium coverage it's very lightweight it works for most skin types but I feel like a lot of people go to this one and yeah I I don't know I really like it um, it looks not really nice on my skin and yeah oh one other thing is about this foundation they finally made a pump I don't have it but just in case you don't want this one because it doesn't have a pump they have one now hallelujah getting into drugstore I have two L'Oreal ones I have the pro matte and then the pro glow these two are so good for their price they're so cheap I got mine at Walmart um 
they don't last a long time that's the only downside it says a 24 hour foundation I feel like it lasts like I want to say like eight ish hours and then I kind of have to like apply more um when I do take off my makeup I don't get like a lot that comes off because it just like disappears throughout the day but this has a nice coverage to it it has I don't know like it just makes your skin look very either matte or glowy and I like how they do have both of these and it makes it look like slick looking it does not get into my pores they make it makes them look like they're shrink down and I think both of these foundations are really good just depending on like what type of skin you have the last foundation that I have is the Maybelline fit me this is the matte and poreless one one good thing about this one is they have a lot of shades so it's really hard to test it out in like Walmart or anything because they don't have testers but they have a lot of shades so it fits like every single skin type they have so many like I can't even tell you this one lasts longer than like these two and I do like the coverage and this one is normal to oily skin and I don't know like I really really like this one and I am in 122 creamy beige just in case you were wondering but the only downside about this one is it doesn't have a pump either so if you're like a big like I have to have a pump then I don't know if you'll really like these and then also these just squirt out so but I always put like a little bit on the back of my hand or I put it just straight on my brush and it works out well and so it doesn't really bother me too much. So those are my favorite foundations. I hope you guys like this video and um, kind of found it a little helpful on like if you were thinking about a foundation and you didn't know which route to go. If you have any questions about any of the foundations, leave a comment down below and I will gladly answer them. I think foundations are a big like key to like making yourself like your whole like look complete. Like if you have oily skin and you have an oily foundation, it just does not work. So if you have any kind of questions about any foundation, just leave a comment below and I will gladly answer them. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.